Welcome to my channel guys and let's start with the python tutorial series. In this video we are going to discuss about how to set up our python environment and IDE to run our python script. So let's get started. There are some simple steps you have to perform to install the python IDE and uh, set up these libraries. So what you have to do is First, you have to download the Miniconda or Anaconda. Miniconda is nothing but the uh, minified libraries and setup for the Anaconda. And uh, you have to install some libraries manually in the Miniconda, but it's a free install in Anaconda. So let's download and install Miniconda first. So go to the Google Chrome, type install. Conda for Windows Yeah, you can see that it's a Python 3.6 You can install for the 32 bit and 64 bit as well, okay? Because it's already installed in the system So, let's I'll see where it's installed G type users my pc and uh, miniconda you can see that here already installed after it installed then what you have to do second step you have to install the anaconda navigator okay so you can find the anaconda navigator cmd command You can find it my internet is slow so I'm sorry for that after that you have to run this command it's already again on my system so please make sure that when you install your mini conda then you have to set the python environment variable for the conda to run in cmd what you have to do is just open your mini conda where you install the mini conda and uh, you have to find the script here and you can see the conda exe is here so you have to set the command python environment variable to your system variable environment so let's try to click on that and the properties go to advanced system settings environment variables and you can find the path here and you have to click the menu folder and you can see here the my pc and the mini conda scripts already in your environmental path variable okay so you have to set it first and after that you have to execute this command form Okay, and uh, after that, uh, Anaconda Navigator is installed in the system just like uh, you can see here Anaconda Navigator, and you have to open it. Okay, so it's open this kind of form. After that, what you have to do, you have to just install the two things here the Qt console and a Spider. It's already installed, if it's not installed, it's just look like install button here and you can install it easily okay and uh, let's say if you need some libraries like to just like let's say numpy it's already installed if it's not installed then you have to choose the uh, not installed here and you can install it very easily okay if you find any problem with that then comment in my comment section below i try to troubleshoot this problem okay so let's after installing the spider you have to launch the spider okay you can see here the spider is working open now and uh, now we can write our python script here and what is the qt console qt console is nothing but the prompt where the python script is executed just like uh, to type your python script like print and going to write Hello world. 
press the F5, you can see Hello World is printed. Press 5 once again, then 12 plus 2 is F5 to execute. Yeah, you can see Hello World and 14 are printed in a QT console window. So it's a very easy and do not worry about the future libraries. And when you need some libraries, then you have to just go on environment and search your library just like a scikit learn you can see scikit image is for the machine learning image processing so you can install it easily and use in the spider id very easily okay so we are working with the Pi spider and qt console in a future video so please install and set up our environment and uh, thank you for watching have a great week